Hello, Clea guitar players and musicians. Um, today we're going to cover amplitude acoustic. If you have GarageBand and you're asking yourself, do I really need this? No, no, you really don't. Should you? Yeah, I, I, I think so, especially if you play acoustic guitar and you don't have all the those cool effects that you would like to have with your acoustic guitar. Yes, GarageBand does have some. This just specifically triggers on acoustic guitars. And we're gonna open it up and I'm gonna just show you the basics of where everything is and how to use some of the stuff and what it's meant for. And then you can decide whether or not it's something that you wanna use. I prefer it and it will work with GarageBand so you can use it with GarageBand, which is nice. So we are going to close that out. All right. The very first thing that usually is going to pop up, and let me just get out of all this. Um, come on. The first thing that we're going to talk about, and what will happen is when you first fire up Amplitude Acoustic, this will pop up. It's your calibration. And what it does is it basically um, records your levels going into either the iPhone, and you do not need, I repeat, you do not need an interface for this program. I use one, and I would prefer that over using the microphone on the iPhone but if you're a musician and you're on the go you completely understand that sometimes you just want to hit the record button and record whatever it is that you just came up with so you don't forget it so you can record obviously without a microphone and without an interface you can record through the iPhone if you don't know this already the iPhone microphone is a condenser mic so it's very sensitive, it picks up every little noise. So you have to be creative on obviously where you record. Um, but you can, with the EQ and, and adjustments and stuff like that, you can drown out a lot of the background music. But anyways, so this will calibrate and it'll pick up how much of a signal you're throwing in and it'll adjust it for you so you don't have to sit there and turn dials and stuff like that and mess around so it kind of helps you just to get going right away which is really nice so the next one we'll go to is tools and this is your tuner this is a metrodome you can set up your metrodome audio demo um to be honest with you, I've never used that, so I have no idea what it is, and I don't want to press it because sometimes if I press stuff, it'll stop recording, and I can't finish this whole thing going on here. The next one is your stomp box, and your stomp box, I'm going to pull up this body modeler one because this is pretty cool. Well, if I can get it to open. There we go. So... Depending on what kind of acoustic guitar you, that you have, you can put this to the specific kind of body of style guitar that you have, or you can mimic. Like if you want a jumbo and you don't have a jumbo and you're using a, a Dreadnought, you know, you can basically try and mimic the jumbo. Whether or not it's going to sound exactly how you want it, you just got to play around with it and, and you'll be able to figure out whether or not if it works for you. Um, you can add more effects into this, like there's the EQ here, which I have pulled up already. Um, and it's just like a, a stomp, you know, like a regular pedal. You know, you have the switch on the bottom to turn it on and off and you have all the levels to adjust it. The black blank ones, if you push on that, now you can pull up more stuff. Your EQs are up on top, 12 string, the, that body modeler and compressor at the bottom. And then you can go into amps. And I was surprised, but not really surprised. There's really not a lot of acoustic amps. And there really isn't anyways. But this is what it pulls up for you. So, like, you can pull up a, a solid state one. I don't know why 
why it's not loading. Yeah. But, come on. Ah, there it is. So you can pull up the different amps and you can adjust the, the stuff on it. And then if you want solid state two, just highlight it, exit out. There you go, solid state two. And then there's your levels for that. And then your tube damp. There you go, your levels for that as well. Oh, sorry, you can just scroll left and right for all the other cool buttons and stuff too. Make sure your power's on. All right, and then the next one is your effects. Um, Again, this takes you back to more of the um, effects that you have. And I believe this is for after you're done recording. You can pull these up and use these to add a little bit more uh, to whatever you already have. All right, moving on down to the bottom left. These are presets. And just like if, if you were having, a, if you ever used a multi-effects pedal. Sorry, I'm lighting my cigarette. Um, this too uh, does the same thing so you can go to preset packs here's you know factory and these are basic presets you have to go through them to, to check them out obviously lively just to give you an idea is, is uh, reverb nice chords is um, it has a chorus in it and a little reverb so you just gotta play around and see what what sounds cool and what you like um, and then the full version which I have comes with even more I am bass yes it'll turn your guitar into a bass that's kind of a cool feature if you don't have a bass guitar and you want to put some bass in there this will do that for you so I like that it has that um, and then user presets are what you put in, so you can do adjusting, see where the edit and the plus button is, that's where you get all that kind of stuff. And then you can add it to your favorites on the bottom there, and pull those up as if, you know, like in the middle of a song or whatever, you can just quickly use your finger and hit the next one just to adjust what, however you want. Alright, moving on to the bottom left on the second one, the music note. This is where you can load up uh, some of your WAV files, your MP3s, something that you want to practice with and play along with and learn. This is uh, what you would use. It has a looper. You can slow it down, speed it up. It'll even take out voice so you can kind of really pinpoint what it is that you're trying to work on. Um, and then next is a looper. As you can see, my looper is completely dark. Reason being, if you click on it, boom, they want you to buy it. And it costs five bucks. Is it worth it? Probably. I just haven't ordered it yet. I haven't decided whether or not I really need it right now. But it is there if you want to order it. And next one is the drum. The drum is just what it says it is. I'm afraid to hit play because I'm, it, this might stop recording. So basically, there's different drums. However, again, if I were to go to one that I don't have, boom, all of a sudden, here we go. It wants me to order some more. Again, if you want more stuff for your garage band, and you're getting bored with the stuff that's in GarageBand, yes, get this. It might be worth it to you. I just have not gotten that far yet. And then next is the recorder. And the recorder is just what it says. Um, I only have a two-track recorder because if I wanted the whole thing, there you go. You hit on the dark spot, and here's what it tells you it'll give you for 10 bucks. It'll turn it into an 8-track, and it'll add all in all this extra cool stuff for you. I probably will order this. But remember, you can run this with GarageBand. So you don't have to have it. But if this might be something that you want to try out, and maybe it'll sound better for you. I don't know. It's something that you have to try and play around with. And then the next one is your tuner. 
so you can tune your guitar. And that's really about it. And then, obviously, if you push on the upper right, this kind of shows up almost like as it were in GarageBand when you're recording. It gives you the wave stuff where you can adjust it and all that. Um, you can set your beats per minute for the Metrodome. And uh, your effects, you can add your effects into the recording and all that kind of stuff. On the upper right where the three bars are, that's where you can go into the store, find out what exactly it is that you could add on uh, to pay for. And then if there's even more stuff, if you hit apps, it'll take you into all the IK Multimedia uh, apps that you can get. And accessories, that's exactly what accessories is. It'll pull up and it'll give you the interfaces that you can buy. I'll show you what I bought. Do, 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 do. There's mine, the Duo, the iRig Duo. So it comes with two uh, plugins. You can do XLR or your regular uh, patch cables. And there is an adapter that comes with it that'll run right to your iPhone or iPad. There's a level adjustments on it that are really nice. Um, I'm not using it right now. I'm just using my phone, but um, something definitely to look into. Is it worth it? I think it is. I mean, for me personally, but you might already have an interface that you want to use, and yes, use it by all means. If you have one and if you're happy with it, I'm not going to tell you any different. So, But they have all the different hardware stuff that you can get. There's even... Um, if you have just a, an acoustic guitar that doesn't have a pickup, you can buy one through them. And it's only 50 bucks, and it literally just clips on. And from what I'm hearing, everybody seems to be pretty happy with it. Now, obviously, it has the that uh, cable. If you have the new iPhone, you'll have to use that adapter for the iPhone. It's the lightning cable to the 1 8 cable or whatever it is. Um, but, yeah, there's just you know a ton of different uh things that you can get for hardware i bought this the irig studio suite bundle and this came with um some different uh s software that i can use different apps and stuff and i bought this used on um american music supply love that place if you don't have great credit or if you don't want to spend a ton of money right away they do payments and you can do up to i think it's five payments with zero credit so you just put some money down monthly payments they don't charge you interest it's pretty sweet so but that's what i ordered and so far i like it it works really good so and that's it hopefully i helped you guys out with the irig acoustic um or with the Amplitube Acoustic and some of the iRig stuff. Uh, next one I'll do is the regular uh, Amplitube, and we'll go through that, which is kind of pretty much the same, but there is a lot more involved in that because there's a lot more that you can get out of it as far as uh, for electric guitar and, and stuff. So that's it. I hope you guys have a good one. Chat at you later.